What's happening, guys? This is Hyper Paradox, and welcome back to Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. In the last episode, through much frustration, we obtained the remaining two treasure keys. And in this episode, we are finally going to deal with Ms. Ruby. By the way, to get rid of this voodoo force field, you have to destroy the two candles on the other side. So, hooray for showing things off screen. Yeah, I think it's high time that we get out of these swamps. Uh, by the way, in order to get to where Ms. Ruby is, you have to go up here, where you unlocked the giant voodoo egg beater, as Bentley crudely put it. And you have to hop onto one of these four platforms, and then hop down again to get to the cauldron lid. Once there, jump on top of it, and we are going to be sent up to the Skull Temple. We are going out for a deadly dance. Cooking up an army of ghosts isn't a very neighborly pastime. <laughs> oh, Sly. I see your mouth moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Well, if jaws need to fly, then let them fly. See you in the next world. All right, we are going up against Ms. Ruby. Now, I'm probably not going to talk a lot in this video. And the reason being is that this particular boss fight is quite unique from the others. And you will hear why in a second. But first you have to get to her. So it's really self-explanatory. You have to hit the same buttons she does. And I just love how Sly sings along. It's really hilarious. By the way, there are three sequences in all. Bang, bang, bang. 
Okay, we have one more sequence, but they come out much quicker this time around, so be on your toes. And also make sure you have some lucky charms as well. There we go! We have beat her! You certainly got some rhythm, Raccoon. But it won't help you none if your fist may go after the Panda King. He's tough, with a capital T. If you go poking around his stronghold in China, you're likely to get poked back! Yeah, well, if he's anything like the rest of you. I'll Ms. Ruby's section of the Thievius Raccoonus held notes from my pioneering ancestor, Slight in Common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71, earned Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, Working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. And with that, we have completed the third area of the game. And it's... And I'm very glad to be done with it, because like I said, this is, this is probably my least favorite area in the game. So next time... Travel plans to China have all been we are going to travel to China to deal with the next member of the Fiendish Five. Okay, I'll stop soon. Hey there, Bentley. How you doing? Okay, see you guys next time.